Uh, I'd been travelling up and down to Sydney, doing the landscaping, leaving at five o'clock in the morning and getting home at five in the afternoon. I was looking after my 18-month-old daughter and she woke up during the midday sleep. I picked her up and actually fell down to the ground. The doctor led me into a uh, small room. My wife was in there uh, crying and uh, said, you've got a tumour. Telling the kids was left with Sarah. Dad's in hospital, he's got cancer, and the doctors are going to do all that they can. It was pretty daunting. I recall coming back up from Sydney, and I was with my father-in-law. I just said, I'm not going to see the kids. And um, he just said, we take it one day at a time. The operation took 10 hours. The surgeon and my oncologist have been uh, happy with the initial and only operation. So, and When I came out of the operation, I had speech problems, which I have still suffer from, but it's improved a hell of a lot. And I get frustrated with my eight-year-old daughter if she's playing up. And I say, Stella, you do not do that. And then I just haven't got the backup information. <laughs> and it slowly comes and she just looks at me and goes, and? <laughs> it's a hell of a journey, but it's got to be taken as one day at a time. I've had uh, nine months. I'm fit and healthy and I can drive, I run on the beach and I hope to be around for a long, long time.